Bob Simon spent nearly five decades at CBS News, first uh, covering the Vietnam War, 1967, and all conflicts across the globe. These pictures in 1991. He made news when Iraqi forces imprisoned him and his crew for 40 days. But the Bronx-born Globetrotter, who grew up in Jackson Heights and Great Neck, also covered many stories right here in New York. The Vietnam vet has been honored and celebrated and thanked all over the country these past months, but it hasn't really happened until it's happened in New York. From the trenches of war to back home, that was Bob Simon in 1985 in the Canyon of Heroes. That same year on the CBS Evening News, he reported on something strap hangers take for granted today. Now the city has sanctioned and organized concerts in the busiest stations at the busiest times. A wordsmith, music to our ears. New notes from the underground, a rush hour rhapsody. A year later, he reported on 60 Harlem sixth graders and the promise a New York businessman made to them to finish high school and he'd pay for their college. In 2010, Simon did a follow-up report with those grown-up students. Slowly, I began to realize how big and monumentous that actually was. Big deal. Really big deal. The arts in New York were always a passion for Simon. His reports took us behind the scenes. <laughs> Last year, he reported on how the Metropolitan Opera is trying to build its audiences with new HD broadcasts. Simon always had a natural curiosity, evident in 2010. He reported on a shot of the Brooklyn housing projects turned rap mogul, calling him the 21st century version of the American dream. Ever the journalist, Simon trying to understand and report something new. Watch Bob as he listens to Jay-Z. Hell no, this is not about me. Was that a new song? Yeah, yeah. So when did you come up with the words? Just now. So like an hour ago, you didn't know what you were going to say? No, I know. Not, not even less than like 20 minutes ago. I did it my way. <laughs> It's good stuff. Bob Simon is su survived by his wife, Francoise, their daughter, Tanya, who was a producer for 60 Minutes. They worked together for long times. His son-in-law, Dr. Evan Garfine, and a grandson, Jack. Bob Simon was 73 years old. There's much more on the life and career of Bob tonight on the CBS Evening News. Scott Pelley here now with how they honor their colleague and friend. And Scott, our condolences to you downstairs and the entire CBS, to CBS News family. Well, Dana, thank you very much for that. And that was a wonderful tribute that all of you at Channel 2 produced. I saw Bob yesterday, just a few hours before his death, uh, as he was finishing up a story for this Sunday, 60 Minutes, which is is going to be on the air this Sunday. It's a great story, and it was produced by one of the very best producers at 60 Minutes, Tanya Simon, his daughter. And I thought, what an amazing way to wrap up your life by putting a story on 60 Minutes that you had produced with your own daughter. We're going to have a tribute to Bob, of course, on the CBS Evening News, some of our favorite moments in his life. Mm -hmm. And we're going to tell you a little bit more about why Bob Simon gave us so much faith in television journalism. All of that coming up on the CBS Evening News. He held the standard so high, didn't he, Scott? Indeed. For all of us. For Absolutely. all of us. Absolutely. Thank you. We'll be watching at 6.30. Thank you, Scott. You'll find more about Bob Simon's long career at CBS, including clips of some of his reports at CBSNewYork.com.